I just like to talk about um, uh, data processing inequality today. Inequality is a very simple inequality. Basically, if we have a Markov chain x, y, and z, then uh, we will have the mutual information between x and y will be bigger than equal to inform mutual information between x and z. And of course, a Markov chain is symmetric, so therefore, like when we have x. Uh, and have a Markov chain x, y, and c. It also means that we have a Markov chain c to y to x. So therefore, we also have like the transformation between y and, and z is bigger than equal to x and c. So this is actually um, quite intuitive because uh, uh, one very typical example for a Markov chain can be you have uh, some initial random variable x, some state variable, and then you try to observe x, but it's subject to some noise. So I get, because of the noise, I get y is actually equal to x plus some noise. And then let's say I, I have another observer that can even observe y directly. Instead, like, it pass through another want of noise and you get c instead and i have c is actually y plus another noise and let's say this is m1 this is m2 and we assume this noise are independent and in this case actually we have a markov chain this is um, some kind of a special case you can remember that there is actually a markov chain and then apparently we'll have the mutual information because mutual information is just saying that how much information is shared between two variables. The mutual information between um, x and y therefore will be bigger than the mutual information between x and c as it's kind of farther away. It's, uh, x and z is uh, kind of separated by two one of two ones of noises instead of just one one of noise. And it's not difficult to show this um, inequality. Uh, you can give a not exact proof, but just a sketch here. Uh, actually, you can make it rigorous very easily. So we want to show like i x y is bigger than equal to i x c, and this is something we don't know. But uh, this actually is equivalent to uh, hx minus hx given y. It's basically just another, we expand uh, mutual information into a difference between uh, the entropy and uh, conditional entropy. It's bigger than or equal to ix, sorry, hx minus hx given z. And then, of course, like this holds. Okay, we don't know whether it holds also. But if this holds, then basically this holds. And this holds if and only if I have i x y is smaller than. So h x y is smaller than h x c y, smaller than or equal to h x c. And again, we're not sure if this is true or not, but if this is true, then the first expression will be true. Now here, we, we are almost done. Because of Markov chain, we know that uh, hx given y is basically equal to hx given y, c. So knowing y, it doesn't matter what is c regarding the information of x. So these are the same. This is because of the Markov chain. And uh, this is, of course, is uh, less than equal to hx given c, right? This is uh, based on 
conditioning reduces entropy. So whenever you're given some more information, then of course you will need less do will be less amount of information left basically. Uh, so when you have more no more then there's less amount of you can think of information or uncertainty in the remaining variable. So okay that's that's it. So of course I all these steps can go back go go backwards and so therefore we have I X Y um you have the data processing in quarter. Of course I can um even write it out, I guess. Uh, okay. This is sketch. This is a more or less like a formal proof that basically I can write i x y is equal to h x minus h x given y, and uh, this, however, will be equal to h x minus h x given y z. That's because of data, uh, because of the Markov chain, and then this is less than equal to, sorry, bigger than equal to h x minus h x given c. This is because of conditioning reduces entropy. And of course, this is just I C. Okay, that's the end for what I wanted to talk about today. And thank you for watching. This.